I will talk about topics that will contain spoilers. So if you haven't already finished the game or haven't seen others do it, just be aware of that. I have spoken about many different cryptic elements of Little Nightmares 2 on this channel, but something that I struggle to find answers to is what happened to Six in the radio tower and why was she taken there in the first place. Today I will go over this profound question and try to answer it with theories. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator, and as I mentioned before, keep in mind as there will be spoilers ahead. The first theory is that the Thin Man took Six to the radio tower just like any other kids he took before. In the comic app, we see the Thin Man come out of a TV and kidnap the toddler in the wilderness. It's quite possible the Thin Man is completely convoluted mentally and heeds to the commands of the eye mindlessly. Therefore, Six getting kidnapped might have been completely coincidental. If Mono wasn't to hide, he would have got kidnapped by the Thin Man to the radio tower as well. This is by far one of the most relaxed theories out there, which does make sense in a way. But again, we don't want to make it easy for ourselves, do we? We would like one of those juicy, oh hell no kind of theories. So let's get right into them. The next theory is a variation of the first one. The Thin Man is controlled by the eye and is used as a puppet by the eye to do whatever it wishes. This time, the story takes a different turn. The eye could have used the Thin Man in this case to kidnap Six and use her as a bait to lure Mono into the tower for him to take the place of a new Thin Man in order to keep the time loop resuming. This theory is in a way backed up by some evidence in the game and an interview conducted with Dave Mervick, the senior narrative designer of the game. Throughout the game, Mono seems to be guided by the eye to get to the radio tower, and he is mysteriously drawn to it. In the radio tower, a door closes on Mono, and another opens, and when he gets into the depth, a trail of light leads him to the chair with a spotlight turning on him. Also, Mervick mentions that Mono was always meant to become the Thin Man, therefore, it's very possible that Six was used as a bait for Mono to get to the radio tower and to kill the Thin Man on his way. Another theory is that the Thin Man wanted to protect Mono from Six. That is why he kidnapped her. Whenever Mono is captured by the Thin Man, he only holds him. And in the final battle, the Thin Man presumably stands in between the radio tower and Mono to stop him from going there. Mono is also the first one using his powers on the Thin Man. The Thin Man seemingly only tries to deflect Mono's powers when they are engaged in the battle. Therefore, the Thin Man wanted to protect Mono and stop him from going into the tower to possibly stop the loop, which doesn't really work out at the end with Six dropping Mono to the depth, which turns him into the Thin Man. Now let's move on and focus on what happens to Six when she's in the radio tower. She transforms into a deformed monster, who seems harmless at first sight, playing with her music box. But as soon as she's taken away from her music box, she becomes vicious and angry. You could say she becomes just like the viewers, as they are harmless as long as their TVs are on. But as soon as they are turned off, they attack anyone at sight. It seems as if the eye manipulates the residents using inanimate objects such as the TVs and the music box. Maybe something they value. The theme of Little Nightmares 2 is escapism, which means finding something you like to get yourself busy with, leading to you ignoring the real problems which require your attention. To make an extremely simple example in the real world, we occasionally spend a lot of time watching our favorite TV shows to get away from doing our homework or other chores which are of utmost importance and should be prioritized. Therefore, my theory is that the eye possesses people with certain objects to make them forget about real problems. Therefore, forgetting the monster in Little Nightmares 2, the eye, 
which makes a lot of people being physically deformed. As mentioned by Mervic again, the world of Little Nightmares came to be what it is as the residents of Little Nightmares ignored the very same question for thousands of years. They also don't have any motivation and function based on their base instincts. And that is why Six is acting like a mindless child who only wants to spend time playing with her music box. She's acting on her base instincts and escaping her reality. In the radio tower, we can clearly see that she's past the point of being possessed. She's just like any other characters within the Pale City. She has an inanimate object which she can use to ignore the question to why she looks deformed and stuck in a creepy room. And she acts based on her base instincts, doing what a child does mindlessly with a toy. Therefore, she is mentally kaput, absolutely gone. But why is she deformed. If you observe all the other characters within the Pale City, apart from losing their minds, they have also sacrificed something physically. The doctor who is supposed to be healthy is obese and crawls on the ceilings. The teacher has a long neck, the viewers have deformed faces, and the hunter, well, let's just say it's a mystery how he's still alive. It doesn't sound too healthy. Six also becomes physically deformed as she gets under the spell of the eye. She could be among many other children who got kidnapped and taken to the radio tower. But what is it that the radio tower wants with them? The eye presumably survives based on leeching on the residents of the Pale City. Why does it bring children to the tower though? Wouldn't it be easier to control them outside of the tower? It seems as if the eye has taken control of majority of the people within the city. But there are certain few who have resisted the pulsating energy of the TV transmissions. One good example would be the toddler who had blindfolded himself. He eventually gets kidnapped by the thin man when he sneaks a peek. Therefore, the eye seems to want to manipulate everyone, and it uses its puppet the thin man to handpick certain few rebels. That could be the case with Six as well. The eye wanted to take her as she wasn't easily manipulated. It turns out her short stay over in the Radio Tower Resort was not pleasant to say the least. She picked up something during her stay, a dark energy, maybe grudge, hatred, greed, who knows? Whatever happened to her when she was possessed by the eye didn't fully leave her. The dark energy she picked up along the way manifested into a shape, the shape of a shadow. Hence, the Shadow Six was born. A figure with a mind of its own, capable of controlling Six by burdening her with hunger bouts, taking her to the place that she belongs to, the Ma. A place where hungry things are satiated, at least for a little while. Just to summarize everything, Sex presumably gets kidnapped by the Thin Man accidentally or quite possibly deliberately under the command of the Eye so that Mono goes to the radio tower for the loop to continue on. In the tower, kidnapped victims get deformed and possessed by the Eye. The victims are usually the ones who resist the pulsating transmissions of the TVs. During Six's stay, she picks up something sinister, a dark entity which is the manifestation of her greed, grudge and hatred, which quite literally controls her and forces her to do certain things, such as going to the ma to satiate her hunger, which never ends. Alright folks, that's about it for today's video. Hope you found it entertaining. What are your thoughts about what happened to Six in the radio tower? Let me know in the comment section below. For more videos, stay tuned right here by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you can also follow me on Twitter for more interaction. It's been your host, Dar. Till the next video, have a fantastic day.